God bless you, sir. We thank God for our gathering here on today. We thank God for blessing us to be able to come to this uh, holy place again. Amen. We thank God for uh, his goodness for all of those who have joined us uh, in this uh, service, putting the service on uh, today. Certainly we are grateful for you. We'd like to open up by saying a happy new year to every uh, one, to all of our church members, amen, and non-members that will be joining us. Certainly want to wish you a happy new year, amen. The Lord has blessed us to enter the year of 2021, and for that reason, we are glad. We know that we are blessed among, above uh, thousands. Yes. For many made it up to the last uh, few hours and, uh, amen, did not uh, make it to the new uh, year. Amen. And so we thank God that he spared our lives okay. and allowed us to enter into the new year. Amen. 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 Given all of us a purpose, mm -hmm. amen, yeah. and a plan. Amen. And so we pray, God, that He would strengthen us yeah. to do what it is that He has left us here uh, to do. Yeah. Amen. This is a good day, but this is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. We shall be uh, glad uh, in it. Yeah. Amen. The second day yeah. of uh, 2021. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading uh, this uh, today is found in 1 Corinthians, Paul's letter to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and beginning at verse number 23. Amen. For tomorrow, which is the first Sunday of the year, uh, as usual, we partake of the Lord's broken body and shed uh, blood. For I receive of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had some saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Let us pray. And as we pray, certainly uh, we pray for all of our uh, members. Amen. Those uh, that are on the prayer list. Pray for those that are not members but have set word uh, for prayer. We're praying for them, for all the worthy families. We're praying for you. Gracious God, our Father, the Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the maker and creator of all mankind, your God and God of all by yourself. 
There is nothing impossible for you to do. And there is no persons that are outside of your reach. And so God, we ask today that you would look in upon our sisters and brothers. Those, oh God, that are sick, those that are in recovery, we pray that you would minister healing and strength to their bodies. We pray that each day they would grow stronger in Christ Jesus until they come to a full recovery of health. God, we say thank you. We pray for those all over the world that are afflicted with this coronavirus. God, we pray that you would deliver them, that you would bring healing and strength to their bodies. Many, oh Lord, our friends and our loved ones around us are suffering with this virus. And so God, we commit them unto your care, asking you to touch or speak the word uh, that their bodies will be healed. We thank you for all the things. We pray for those that are on ventilators, so oh God, that you would bless them to come off. God, and those who the doctors have given up on, we pray that you would speak light into their situation. God, we pray for bereaved families everywhere, that you would comfort them and strengthen them. We pray for the Johnson and the Willis family. We pray for the Stoner and Boyd's family, that you would comfort them, oh God, and bereaved families everywhere. Lift up every bow to you. And give ease to every troubled mind. And oh God, we thank you for standing here today in this sacred place. For we realize, oh God, nobody but you have allowed us to enter into this new year. Oh God, we pray that you give us strength and that you would empower us uh, to render our best service unto you daily. We pray, O oh God, that you would speak to our hearts, speak to our minds, and strengthen us for the journey that is before us. For we realize the enemy is busy. O oh God, the greater is you who is in us than he that is of this world. And we say thank you now, Lord. We pray for our children and our grandchildren that you will watch over them, that you will protect them, O oh God. Some have went back to school. We pray your blessings upon them. We pray your blessings on Faith of Gilmore as she prepared to return to school. God, that you would give her your traveling grace. Oh God, and give her great success in her endeavors. We thank you for all things, oh God. Look and have mercy upon us. And we pray that you will receive our worship today, oh God. And we pray for churches throughout this area that have gone back into their buildings that you would bless them, O oh God, to worship, O oh God, and we pray that the virus will come not by their will. Thank you for all things. We pray for our leaders, our presidents, senators, and congress, and governors, that you would uh, give them compassionate hearts, O oh God, that they would be concerned about uh, the needs of the people. And we say thank you now. Have mercy upon us. It's in the name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Certainly thank God again for all of his blessings. The Lord is blessing us right now. And we are glad. It's just a blessing to enter into the year of 2021. You know, the earlier part of last year and even before the year began, most of our churches were uh, dealing with things and all of that. But, uh, you know, we uh, realized what the outcome uh, was. And so I haven't heard much talk about any things uh, uh, so far this year. And so, uh, look, uh, amen. I think our theme ought to be just be with the Lord. Saying. <laughs> And he told us to go into all the world and preach the gospel, Amen. baptizing men in the name Amen. of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He said, Lo, I'll be with you 
always, amen. even until the end of the world. And one thing we learned that last year, yes. amen, that our planning and our things, right. amen. amen. Look, man can plan, amen. but then God can disappoint. Yes. Amen. 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 And so we just uh, leave it in the hands of the Lord and trusting in God. Yes. And uh, as to when uh, we should come back yes. Uh, yes. to services inside the church. You know, we're leaving that all in the hands of God. Amen. 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 So let us continue to pray. Yes. Amen. For uh, people everywhere. Amen. 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 That God will give them strength. Yes. Amen. Yes. To go forward. Yes. I don't know about you, but I'm glad Amen to be uh, here Amen. today. Amen. The second day yes. 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 of the new uh, year. Amen. 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 Now, uh, today, mm -hmm. uh, we will celebrate the communion. Amen. And uh, we're going to do it a little different today than we've usually done in the past. Uh, after our first selection, uh, then we'll have communion. Amen. And following communion, we'll have our uh, second selection. Amen. And then we'll have uh, the message. And so those of you that might be at home, it would be a good time for you to prepare yourself, amen, to uh, partake of the Lord's Supper uh, with us. As we often say, uh, you know, you can't substitute uh, bread and whatever kind of juice you have or, you know, you can't uh, substitute. Amen. amen. So amen. you have a chance to uh, prepare yourself for after this election, we will uh, have our communion of service. Amen. Amen. Certainly, again, we're glad for Sister Joyce and mm -hmm. colleagues and Brother the Glass. Amen. 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 As they share with us, amen, uh, musical uh, selections. Amen. So let us receive them at this time.
my storage is empty. I am a devil to you. Amen. And certainly as we have entered into this new year, we all want to be able to say unto the Lord, my storage is empty. Meaning I have gotten some things out of the way that I might be fully used yes. of the yes. my storage is empty. Amen. Amen. I certainly want to thank Sister Joyce for that selection. Amen. As I said earlier, today we partake of the Lord broken body and his shed blood. Amen. Uh, and we thank God for this opportunity that we're able to do so with our brothers and sisters, amen, that are at home. Amen. We're able to uh, join in together. This is the uh, first Sunday of the year. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're talking about starting, as Christians, starting the new year outright. Right. Amen. Amen. This is how we start the new year out. Amen. Amen. Uh, right. That's with communion. Amen. Amen. Communion with uh, the Lord. Yes. Amen. Let us pray. God, Father, we thank you for this another opportunity to partake of this our broken body and thy shed blood. Amen. We pray, O oh God, that you would change these elements from a natural to a spiritual, that when we partake of them, it brings strength, amen, to our spiritual man and to our Christian uh, walk, oh God. We pray that you would bless us as we commune with our brothers and sisters. The body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The blood of of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for
Colin and the last report on selection. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. Amen.
some of your Bibles, a different translation might read, uh, be anxious. Amen. Be anxious. Amen. Uh, for uh, nothing. And there's others that might read, uh, not to worry. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Our text says, be careful yeah. for nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so I want to talk today about the anxiety-free right. life. Yeah. Anxiety. Life. Amen. And that ought to be all of our goals yeah. as we have entered into this year. Mm -hmm. To live a life of less stress Amen. and anxiety. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I know that. It's not always uh, easy. It's not easy for us to do. Matter of fact, uh, we can't do it on our own. Amen. 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 But that ought to be our goal. And this text tells us how we can do that. Amen. How we can live an anxiety-free life. I don't know about you, but I've noticed in these uh, last uh, months, you know, that we've been somewhat on lockdown and isolated. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, uh, I've noticed uh, people when you do get out, uh, just seem to be just stressed out. Yeah, yeah. And we have to be very careful. Because there are some people that are just right on the brink oh, yeah. of break. Yeah. On the brink of break. Yeah. Amen. I was in the uh, grocery store uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, and you know how they have the lines where you line up and you have to be six foot distance? Yeah. And the lines were long in the store. And that was a fellow about uh, somewhere close to my age or maybe a little younger. Uh, he just cut right in front of me. Just cut right in front of me. And uh, usually I would have uh, let it slide. But uh, that particular day I wouldn't have let nothing slide. That's <laughs> right. Anybody know anything about your days? Some days that you'll let you just ignore some things, and then you have some days on day. You ain't ignoring nothing. So I called it to his attention. I said, hey, I hope you don't think you're going to jump right in front of me. I said, line starts back there. He got out of the line and, and uh, looked at me kind of funny and went on, you know. He got out of the line, Sharing with somebody else, say, many times I've been in the store and I've done this for people, and people have done it for me. I might have a few things right. and yeah. they'll have a whole grocery cart right. for myself. They say, Look, uh, why don't you just go ahead? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. 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 That's different. Amen. And somebody Amen. just cut it. Right. Mm -hmm. I said that to say this, but sometimes you have to be careful. Amen. Because a lot of people are on the brink of break. It don't take much to push them over. Amen. Anxiety. Amen. A mental health disorder characterized by feelings of weary. Or fear, amen, that is strong enough to interfere with one's daily activity. In other words, anxiety can shut you down. 
Amen. 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 And then there's a more simple, uh, Webster have a somewhat more simple definition. Anxiety is to worry about what may happen. All right, all right. <laughs> we got Amen. Worry about what may, may happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anxiety. First Corinthians seven thirty-two. Paul opens up that thirty-second verse with these uh, words. Now I'm reading from the NIV. Now. Uh, he says, I want you to be free from the concerns of life. Right. Amen. Amen. I want you, talking to the Corinthians, uh -huh. I want you to be free right. from the concerns of life. Yeah. Yeah. King James might say, but I would have you uh, without carefulness uh -huh. or weary about the concerns of life. Yeah. We often begin the new year with a resolution. Uh -huh. Many, amen, Christians, non-Christians, Going to the new year with a resolution. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thanks be unto God. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thanks be to God that I didn't get beyond resolutions. Right. Amen. Because, uh, Amen. I made them in the end. Made them a month or so. <laughs> Amen. That's out the window. Amen. 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 And, and that's the way it is with a whole lot of folks. Uh, they make these resolutions. Right. And I'm going to exercise more. Yeah. I'm going to eat more healthier. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And then go to Golden Corral <laughs> and get a pig feet. Oh. Amen. 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 I'm going to eat more healthier. Exercise. Yeah, yeah. Move. Yeah. Sometimes a couple weeks and back to our old habits. Amen. 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 I don't know if any of you made the resolution. I'm not trying to discourage you from doing that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Now I got to yeah. A resolution is a fixed purpose. Right. I'm going to watch. What I eat. Right. I'm going to. A resolution is to lose 10 pounds. It's a fixed purpose. Yeah. A decision to change. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got this? Yeah. Listen, as I say, all oh, that's good. On your own, you can do nothing. But with the help of God, yeah. you can do all things. Amen. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Have I got me? There is much chaos and turmoil in the world today. Wow. Have I got me? Amen. So much chaos all over the world in turmoil, political. Amen. Now, if you don't think that's political turmoil, you just stick close to your television. Tuesday. Amen. Uh, on uh, the day that they're going to gather to, yeah. amen, to uh, what, retaliate or whatever, yeah. The, yeah. the electoral votes. Yeah. Amen. There's been a call for 
people to gather in Washington, D.C. to protest. Amen. Joe Biden. Amen. Being amen, confirmed in such a way as president. Amen. Turmoil and chaos in the world political. And it seems like our democracy is falling apart. Amen. Seems like those things that Deacon Johnson and so many of our brothers and sisters fought on foreign ground to protect for other people or falling apart in their own country. Democracy. Amen. Global pandemic. COVID-19. People are dying by the thousands daily. Amen. Every day the number goes up. Amen. There's much chaos. Yeah, yeah. Turmoil in the world. Yeah. And then there's society unrest. Right. Have mercy upon right. The constant killing yeah. of unarmed black men. Usually by those that's supposed to protect us. <laughs> Amen. And as well as black on black killers. Have a God with us. It's enough going on around us to cause us yeah. much yeah. anxiety. Amen. Have a God with us. Amen. If you're not careful and if you forget. Amen. Whose you are, who you are, Amen. and whose you are. Amen. There's enough going on around All right. to cause much anxiety. Uh -huh. More so among people that know not the Lord. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, look, it's been a struggle. I'll just talk about myself. It's been a struggle yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I said it's been a struggle. Amen. Amen. For me. Amen. 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 And I can't imagine yeah. how those that no, know not Amen. the Lord. Amen. 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 Deal with these issues yeah. Yeah. that we are faced. With death. Amen. Have I got a witness? Amen. I said it's been a struggle. Yeah. And thanks be to God mm -hmm. that I have a father Amen. Amen. who cares and a father that speaks to me. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Tell me, fear not, Hallelujah. for I am with you. Yeah. Yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. Now look, I trust in God. Yes. Have a God with me. I believe in God. Well, right. mm -hmm. But I'm always going to tell you the truth. There's something about this virus. All right. Amen. That causes me mm -hmm. a, amen, a level of fear. Yeah. 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 Amen. And not so much so for myself, yeah. but for my loved ones. Amen. Yes, and for myself Amen. as well. Amen. Hell, I got Amen. Amen. But for my wife and my yeah. children, yeah. And grandchildren. Yeah. Hell, I got Amen. Amen. But thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord. Those of us yeah. who have a relationship with God. Oh, yeah. Amen. Can face yeah. the chaos yeah. Yeah, and the turmoil uh -huh. of this world yeah. without falling apart. Amen. How do y'all know that Amen. Satan wants us to 
fall apart. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He wants us to fall apart. Amen. And he, he wants us, amen, to start pointing the finger right. at God. All right. All right. Look, Paul said, uh, Satan, we're not in the ignorant of your devices. Satan wants us to point the finger at God yeah. and charge God yeah. of not being fat. Huh. Amen. Satan wants to point the finger at God and say, God, you can do something right. about this. Hell, mm -hmm. God, with us. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what he wants us to fall apart yes, yes, and yes. cast our faith mm -hmm. in God. A sign. All right. All right. Amen. Now look. Amen. I know a number of pastors and their wives have suffered this COVID virus. I know some pastors in the right St. Louis area that have died. Good godly Christian men have died yes. from COVID-19. Hell yeah. not with yeah. So Satan wants us to get angry. Yes, he does. Amen. With God and blame God. Hell mm -hmm. yeah. And cast aside our faith. Amen. My brothers and sisters, amen. Whatever you go through mm -hmm. in this life, yes. amen. Don't Blame God. Amen. Amen. Y'all know that's what Satan tried to do to Job. Uh -huh. He said, I'll make Job curse you yeah. to your face. Have a God with Amen. So, amen. The word of God has declared plainly mm -hmm. and clear amen. in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Plain, clear, mm -hmm. that God does not want His people to be anxious Amen. or to worry mm -hmm. about nothing. Amen. Have I got a good time? How many y'all believe that? Amen. It's in the Bible. Amen. Not in one place, right. several, Amen. all over the Bible. God does not want his people to be anxious or to worry about nothing. That's why over the summer, 300, they say it's one in there for every day of the year, 365 times. They say you can find in the Bible uh, this word or the equivalent. Fear not. Amen. They say that's in the Bible, some three and one for every day of the year. Amen. Fear not. And if you don't say fear not, say be not afraid. All right. Amen. God does not want his people to be anxious yeah. or to worry about nothing. Right. Amen. He wants us to live the anxiety free life. I'm about to close now because this is just an introduction. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, hear the words of Jesus as recorded in John 14 and 1. Huh. Amen. These are the very words of Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. Have a God with us. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Have a God with Amen. So there it is. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In that same 14th chapter, in verse 27, Jesus says, Peace yeah. I leave with you. Amen. Have 
first law. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, give I unto you. And he closes out and say, Amen. Well, that 27th verse. He said, Let again let not your heart be troubled, and neither let it be afraid. Have mercy on you. Well, that sounds like to me that Jesus has made it plain, clear. Help God with it. Now, you don't want us to worry about anything or not to be anxious. It is clear that God's desire for His people, let us make it personal, it is clear that God's desire for me, amen, me, amen, is that I live an anxiety-free life. A life free from where? Yeah. And look, how do y'all believe? You can do it. All right. Amen. Amen. You can live an anxiety-free life. Amen. God, yeah. Jesus can ask us to do something that we could not do. Yeah. That was impossible. And then he would ask us to do something that he would empower us to do. He empowers us. Amen. To live an anxiety free life. Well, back to verse 27. Peace. Help out with it. Now, peace is just the opposite of where? Anxiety. Instead of being uh, where or anxious, amen. You can have his. Amen. So he strengthens us and gives us the ability of what it is we need to yeah. live an anxiety free life. Yeah. And we see it in the 27th verse. Peace. All right. Now we all know that his peace will keep. Yes, it now I, mean. I said his peace yes, will drive out yeah. all fear yeah. Yeah. and all will. Have I got a witness? Have his peace ever done that for you? Have I got a witness? So let not your heart be troubled. Don't be overweight. Amen. Amen. Neither let it be afraid. Have I got a witness? Amen. Amen. Well, let me move on. Again, Jesus says in Matthew 6, and you go back and read all of this, Matthew 6. 25 and 34. Uh -huh. Have mercy, Lord. Right. Therefore, I say unto you, yeah. take no thought. Right. Have I got a witness? Right. Yeah. Are y'all there? Yeah. Jesus said, I say unto you, take no thought. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Look, let me read that from another Amen. Uh -huh. translation. Says, that is why I'm telling you not to worry about everyday life. That's what Jesus said when he said, Amen. I said to you, take no thought. That is why I'm telling you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food. And drink or enough clothes to wear. Yeah. Y'all see that in the text? Amen. Amen. Isn't the next question? Mm -hmm. Jesus, he asked a amen. Uh -huh. Question is, isn't life more than food? Yeah. And your body yeah. more yeah. than clothing? All right. Amen. Now I don't know maybe Jesus was teaching out in the open air. Yeah. And it just so happened. Then some birds come across. Uh -huh. Amen. Flying across the sky. All right. And Jesus uh, says to them, mm -hmm. Amen. Look at the birds. Right. Have mercy, Lord. Yeah. Look at the birds. Yeah. Yeah. They don't plant 
nor harvest right. or store food in bones. For your heavenly Father feeds me. Y'all yeah. got me. Amen. Amen. Birds don't plant them. Right. They don't put stuff up yeah. like squirrels bury nuts in the ground. Uh -huh. And ants carry dead insects into uh -huh. crevices. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, birds don't uh, plant. They don't sow. Yeah. But yet, they eat. Anybody ever see a skinny bird? Well, you ever see a bird when you see his bones and how they got to eat? They eat. Had a member, two members, some time ago. Uh, they had a little disagreement about feeding birds. And one person said he put out crumbs for the birds. The other said, them said, man, you ain't feeding birds, you feeding rats. Oh. <laughs> and then they went on to say, if the Lord uh, wanted them uh, birds to eat, he'd feed them. And they brought me into the discussion. <laughs> what do you think? I said, yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, that's why when the ice get on the ground, Right. Snow get on the ground. Yeah. The Lord places in somebody's heart. Right. You got some old cornbread. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Go out and throw some bread out yeah. for the birds. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, I got, yeah. I got a, amen, a bird house I <laughs> bought a few days ago, but it's a bird house made out of seed. All right. Amen. All right. Nice get on the ground. I'll yeah. place it out uh -huh. in the yard. Yeah. And the birds just come and just. Eat off the house. Hell, I got it. Birds don't plant. They don't sow. Yeah. They don't put up. Yeah. But God sees to be mm -hmm. being fed. Amen. Look at the birds. Hell, I got it. And then Jesus asks this question. Mm -hmm. Are y'all there? Amen. He said, Aren't you far more valuable? Than they are. Amen. Amen. Have a Jesus said, If I feed the birds, right. surely I'll feed you. Amen. Have Amen. A if I go the limits of the field, yeah. surely I will keep clothes on your back. Amen. For you are far more valuable to me than birds and yeah. amen. Wild livers. Have a Amen. Can you listen? Huh. Can all your words right. think about this? Yeah. Add a single moment yeah. to your life. Right. Uh -huh. Help me out. Some of y'all Bible say, can you add one cubit uh -huh. to your life right. by word? Huh. And certainly the answer, no. Amen, is no. Worry don't add no. nothing to you. Help God with it. But it can cause you to have bad health. Amen. Help God with it. How many of y'all know that? Where we don't add nothing All right. to your mind. It does you no good to right. worry about it. Sometimes we're worried about stuff that we have no power to change. Yeah. Yeah. Help God with it. Sometimes we're worried about grown children. Amen. I mean grown children. That's right. That we don't have no power That's right. over them. Yeah, yeah. Help God with yeah. Amen. What did uh, Reverend Warren say? He said that why should I wear yeah. or walk the floor and wear it? Uh -huh. Stay up all night. Mm -hmm. When God is up yeah. all night long, all right. Amen. he never sleeps. No, he stumbles. And look, many times, parents, amen, the children or the folk that you're wearing about, you don't have no idea where they are. Amen. But thanks be to God. God knows. God knows, God knows where they are. And they're nowhere where God cannot reach them. 
Hallelujah. I can be a witness. Amen. God has reached me yeah. in some places that I should not have been yeah. Yeah. and brought me out. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Hell, God, yeah. How many of y'all have been with us? Y'all wouldn't have liked that. But how many of y'all have been in some places that and you made it. And the next day you find out, man, after you left, yeah. they start shooting and so and so got shot and, yeah. and somebody got killed. Yeah. And after you left, yeah. God had. Yeah. Not just be a witness. Yeah. God had brought me out of some place. Yeah. Yeah. And it might have been because Mama was at home praying for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mama told me. Amen. Yeah. She prayed a many nights. Yeah. Right. Amen. And look, your mother prayed a many nights. Right. When you were out in the street. Right. Lord, yeah. bless my son. Yeah. 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 To make it home yeah. safe. Yeah. Lord, bless my daughter. Yeah. Wherever she's at. Uh -huh. To be safe. Amen. Anybody be a witness? Amen. 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 That's what the said. My mother yeah. prayed for me. Had me on the mind. Right. Took the time. And prayed yeah, for me. Yeah. Well, I'll get away from my, my message. But <laughs> sometimes, yeah. amen, when I did get home, uh, see, my mama, she, she wouldn't, he had to do away with me. But when I turned that key, uh, yeah. amen. <laughs> Hell yeah. So don't worry yeah. Yeah. about tomorrow. This 2021, the anxiety free life. Jesus said, So don't worry about it tomorrow. Amen. Amen. For tomorrow will bring its own worries. Have we got a Amen. Amen. Yeah. Today's trouble right. is enough for today. Help me out with Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Keep your heart from getting overwhelmed. Right. And you'll keep your mind. Yes. Help y'all with this. Yes. Amen. Yes. And as you keep your heart and mind, you know what you can do? Rest. Then you can rest yes. in front. How yes. I mean, y'all know that's no rest? Yes. Amen. When you will. Yes. Help y'all with yes. Anybody, yes. look, I don't believe you can, amen, wear it yes. and rest. At the same time. Help me out again. But thanks be to God. The peace of God. How y'all need this peace? Amen. To this year, 2021. Amen. I'm going to rely, trust in the peace of God to keep me. Help me out again. Amen. And then, I'll be able to rest and be able to live the anxiety-free life. How many of y'all want to live that kind of life? Amen. And you can do it. How many of y'all want Well, if the Lord says the same, I'll take it up here. Or next week. You know, our elders used to always say, they say, if the Lord say the same. Because how many of y'all know? Amen. Whatever we might plan, amen. It's all in if the Lord say the same. Amen. If the Lord say the same, I'll take up on this next week. But thank God. For his peace. Yes. And yes. that peace yes. that he purchased for us All right. on a hill called Calvary. Yes. Y'all know what happened there? Yes. Amen. You know, Calvary, where he hung, uh -huh. gave his hands uh -huh. to the nails, yes. his feet to the spot, mm -hmm. and his head to the thorny crown, mm -hmm. and his Side to the spear at Calvary. Thank God for Calvary. He died. How many of you died? He died for all of our sins. Help me out Died that we might have the peace of God. Amen. Not only did he die, but they buried him. In a bar or two. Stayed there three days, but early yes. that third day morning. Yes, he got up. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Or God raised him up yes. Yes. with all power yes. in his hand. Yes. And thanks be to God yes. that he left on record yes. when his disciples were in that upper room yes. out of fear for the Jews after his crucifixion. They had barred the door, locked themselves in, in isolation, amen, real quietly, amen, and amen, up pops Jesus, amen, <laughs> didn't knock on the door, right. didn't come to the door, but he just appeared in their midst, yeah. and stomped yeah. at his appearance, yeah. and he looked at them and said to them, my peace, my peace. amen, I leave with you. I'm going back to my father. Yes. But I'm going to leave my peace with you. Yes, and that's the peace that we can have today. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you. There might be some out there that will hear this message that might not enjoy the peace of God. Right. Amen. But you can. Yes, you can. Amen. Yes. Uh, peace of God is for all people that will receive Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As their Lord and Savior. And He wants you to have His peace. Yes, and you can have it. Yes, Simply Lord. confessing your sins. Amen. Asking God to forgive you. Yes. Asking Jesus to come into your life and save you. Yes, Amen. 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 Believe that Jesus died, yes. buried, three days, rose again. Amen. His blood pays the penalty yes. Yes. for you.
your sin. You can be saved and experience God's peace. Amen. Amen. Nothing like Amen. the peace of God. Amen. 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 Nothing, like Nothing like the peace of God. I used to, uh, when I went to a message with people, but I have uh, this sweet athlete, a real uh, uh, bad, really bad, some years ago. And, uh, well, even today, I could just about go to sleep. Uh, you know, yeah. I can sit down and go to sleep. In second. Anywhere. I, I, you know, <laughs> I, uh, Brother Riley was with me in uh, Florida, and uh, he went somewhere. He come back, man. I was asleep. Oh. The bags I had laying on the floor. Oh. People could just pick them up with them about their, about their business. But I used to tell uh, uh, hey, man, uh, look, when you have peace of God, yeah. You can't sleep. You can. You can rest. That was the reason I was sleeping most of the time. <laughs> but I do have the peace of God. Yes, Lord. Have I got a witness? Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank God for His peace. Amen. God bless you, Amen. and certainly thank God we received our communion. Let us continue to pray for one another. Let us continue to pray for our church of family that the Lord fix it so that we can soon yes. come together. Amen. In a safe way yes. to worship. Yes. But until then, certainly we thank God for being able to meet you Amen. in your homes and different places Amen. by way of Facebook, Zoom, yes. and uh, YouTube. Yes. And certainly thank the people here at the church. Amen. Amen. That makes uh, this possible. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Now let us receive. Amen. The benediction. Amen. Let me make this announcement that uh, on the uh, third Wednesday of uh, January, uh -huh. we'll resume our Bible study. Amen. The third Wednesday of uh, January, we'll be back into our weekly uh, Bible study. All right. Let us receive the benediction. You have been in communion with your Lord. Go forth now in the strength and assurance that the Lord Jesus Christ goes with you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. That's the 20th. That's the 20th. Okay. Okay. And that's the third. Uh,